Now, with your Storm Team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers. Well, we're in store for some roller coaster temperatures this week or on our Christmas week here in the Concho Valley. We are less than a week away from Christmas on Friday, and it looks like we're going to get that up and down in the temperatures, at least for the daytime temperatures. And then we're going to remain dry for us as we go through the rest of this week, unfortunately. We're going to continue to be on the dry side. A mild Christmas for us, and will we see that Christmas start tonight? And it's going to be kind of iffy with those clouds moving in here into the Concha Valley overnight tonight. Temperatures, right? Uh, today, we got up to 73 out at Mathis Field. Average high is 59 for this time of the year. The record is 86 back in 2010. The low this morning of 29, that's below average for us for this time of the year. The record is 10 degrees back in 1983. And as we take a look at temperatures across the Lone Star State, at this hour, it's 50 up in Amarillo, 53 in Lubbock, 62 here in San Angelo, 63 over in Austin, 65 in College Station, 56 over in Tyler, Texas, 72 in Laredo, and 7 down in Brownsville, so still feeling the warm down there in the southern part of the state. Temperatures, these are the roller coaster daytime highs that I was talking about. Tuesday in the 60s, continuing to be in the 60s on Wednesday, then we get into the 50s on Thursday, then we rebound back into the 60s on Friday and Saturday, then another cold front is expected to come through on Sunday. That'll bring temperatures back into the 50s for us on Monday. Morning lows over the next five days. Going to be a little bit warm on Wednesday to start out the day, but then a cold front swings through and drops us into the 20s for us on Thursday and Friday. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day are going to start out in the 20s for us before we go back to starting out in the 40s on Saturday. Here's a look at clouds and radar across the nation. Things are very quiet across the lower 48 right now. Some showers into West Virginia right now, but not much else going on across the nation. Things are very quiet here in the Lone Star State as well, except for... Some of those higher level clouds streaming in from the southwest. We're going to continue to see those increase as we go through the evening hours here in the Concho Valley. Here's what that looks like on our future cast as we go through 7 o'clock. Usually right around the time when you want to look for that Christmas star, but we're going to start seeing those clouds increase. Maybe, just maybe, just a little bit of a break in those clouds will provide a view of those planets aligning. Otherwise, we're going to continue to see... Partly cloudy conditions through the overnight hours into tomorrow. Here's a look across the nation in our national outlook. Temperatures from the 50s and 30s in the northern part of the country to the 60s here in the south as we go to Tuesday. We're going to continue to watch for our next system on Wednesday. This is going to bring a cold front through the area and bring some rain for the eastern half of the United States as we go into Wednesday, including the New Orleans area. And then that pushes off to the east, leaving us with clearing, cooling conditions as we go into Thursday. Friday, we warm up a little bit and we'll continue to see that warming trend through the weekend. Then it's Sunday into Monday that our next cold front comes through here in the Lone Star State and brings us back down into the 60s, maybe even some upper 50s for us as we go into next week. Here's a look at that Christmas star. It's Jupiter and Saturn lining up. If you can see it between the clouds tonight, you're going to see it about 45 minutes after sunset. Not too long from now, look to the southwest and along the horizon in the night sky. Watch for that Christmas star tonight. We'll get down to 38 degrees, partly cloudy conditions. Northwest winds around 5 miles per hour for our Tuesday, topping out near 69 degrees. Mostly sunny conditions, a little bit windy. Winds out of the south at 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting to 30 at times as we take a look at the next five days here in the Concho Valley. We're going to be on that roller coaster of daytime highs, a cold front swinging through just in time for Christmas Eve, bringing morning lows into the 20s for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day before we rebound back into the 60s for daytime highs into the weekend. We'll be back with more KCN News 